These gay dudes just called up. <laughs> One of them was so scared he had to he had to poo poo. Yeah. Um, Woody, that's Greg Gory. Happy new hour. Happy new hour to you, Greg. Thank you. There's Menace. What is up, Woody? He's encouraging everyone to find us and follow us at the Woody Show on the social media platform of your choice. Do it. Seabass is here. Trying to figure out his latest comb over technique. Get her. <laughs> He's not, he's not, I can say that because he's not in the studio currently. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you would have been followed with me to go, Oh, oh, oh Frank, oh, 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 Absolutely. Uh, Sammy, good morning. Good morning. Phones open 877-44-WOODY. Text over to 22987. Actually, my hair is quite muscular. Oh, it's, it's very muscular. Oh, you know, all the chicks actually like my hair. Yeah, actually, also, uh, Sammy, also, would you like to run your fingers through my hair? Remember he did that to you once? It's yes, quite he girthy. did make me do that. It's yes. also intelligent He just hair. wanted you to touch him. Yeah. And then oh, Sammy, gross. like a Creep. moron, said, oh, yeah, oh, it's okay. not thinning. Okay. I'll it's, do that, Slam Master. It's it, great <laughs> hair. Oh, oh yeah. God. Yeah. You would never. No problem. I'm obsessed never. with you as well. Sick. <laughs> so I saw a story, thought about Greg, and then also Sammy was telling a story about something that happened at her house. Yep. This woman in Florida, Greg, arrested mm-hmm. after she drowned her roommate's pet spider. Oh, who can blame her? She was charged with animal cruelty. And petty theft charges since the spider, which I guess is a jumping spider, oh. they say it was worth, quote oh. unquote, 70 bucks. Okay. okay. Please. A $70 spider? Oh, give me a break. Like, if you wanted to buy a tarantula, I wonder how much, speaking of like a Craigslist price, right? Like, yeah. how much would you spend on a tarantula? Uh, I think you can get them for like if 40 bucks. If they're a penny, it's too much. Yeah. yeah. I, can I share a tarantula story? Okay. I had the worst night the other night. <laughs> I'm sitting on the couch. Mario gets up from the couch to go to the kitchen or something, looks out the window and jumps back and says, oh my God. And I thought this cannot be good. It was a legit tarantula on the wall by the front door, climbing up the house. Okay, I'm t- why are I'm not- bugs always on your front door? I know, right? I don't get that part. The and worst also, luck. Aren't tarantulas from like, I don't know, the Amazon or something? I know, How's that's it? what I thought. <laughs> yeah. At your so, house. <laughs> this gets, it gets so dumb and bad. So we're both paranoid. We think, what if it comes into the house? It must be destroyed. But neither <laughs> of us are brave enough <laughs> to go out there and get within X amount of feet of this tarantula. So I suggested the vacuum cleaner. Just take the extender mm, yeah. and suck it up. And he said, I'm not getting that close to it. Are you crazy? I said, how about a broom? He's like, why are you giving me all these suggestions about how to handle this tarantula? You do something. And I said, look, you know me. I'm not going out there. I will st- I'll will I'll just have to stay home for the rest of my <laughs> life. I'm not going out there. <laughs> so he decides to be the man and goes out to deal with this tarantula. But I didn't know what he was going to do. I figured he would use a broom or I said, use the leaf blower, something. Just get it out of here. Uh, I was so scared that I literally had to go to the bathroom. So I, <laughs> I, I said, I'll be right back. I'm going to go use the bathroom. Like I number in. one, number two. I, number two. It literally wow. scared the <laughs> ish out of me. Okay. Because this is a legit tarantula. Because yeah. I know people say, oh, I saw a tarantula and it was just a big spider. This mm-hmm. was like a legit movie tarantula. By the way, I'm looking online. You can get a Mexican red knee tarantula uh, for $39.99. See, called it. Too There's much. also another one though. This one's a little bit bigger. The bigger mm-hmm. one's $149. Oh, that's wow. a classy one. There's a giant Mexican red knee tarantula you can get for 60 bucks. Oh, oh. 84 bucks. There's another one for 20 bucks. This, this is the striped knee tarantula. I think, 20 bucks. I think I had the jumbo Same. one. We got to so, pick up a couple for Greg. Yeah, so Greg, come, you should have captured it and then you could have sold it. And I, made some money. <laughs> <laughs> so I come out of the bathroom and Mario is on the phone with the fire department. <laughs> Are you serious? Okay, that's the gayest thing I've heard. You wanted advice. (laughs) Dude, that's the fire department? That wins the award for gayest thing I've heard today. This is how scared we were. And so they they literally laughed at him and said, yeah, "Yeah, you know, it happens. It's outdoors. It's a bug. So they went back to their dinner of chili. So they go back to the mess hall. And they're like, oh, these two guys just called up, man. (laughs) About a tarantula. (laughs) Right. Wanted to come out for a tarantula. So then he said, well, I guess the fire department won't come get it. So I'm going to have to deal with it. (laughs) I would at least call animal control, maybe. Well, we have called them in the past when we've seen snakes in the yard. And they don't come unless it's a rattlesnake. You should have called the cops. You could have arrested it. I should have called somebody. So then I stay in the house. He goes into the backyard and he's out there for like 10 minutes. And I'm thinking, what is he doing? And meanwhile, he said, keep an eye on the tarantula. I don't want it going near the front door. What if it gets in the house? So he finally comes around and I see him holding <laughs> a dish of some sort. It was like a plastic bowl. 
And he's also holding our super soaker. We have this pool toy. You know, you just pull it to mm-hmm. put the water in it. And then yeah. you, he's yeah. holding that. What he did was he went to the garage and took one of my industrial size things, a bug spray that I have for the outdoors. And he poured it into a dish and then sucked it up into the super <laughs> soaker. <laughs> Oh my God. And then from about 15 feet away, whoosh, starts flooding this tarantula. Wait, watered down stuff or actual? No, full, full on. on okay, yeah, full, full octane. On. The okay. full on stuff that comes in one of those big jugs and it has a wand attached to it. It's called yeah. big jugs. <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't instantly kill it a spider. It doesn't. And then it <laughs> fell to the ground and he's like reloading the super soaker, shoots it again, reloading, shooting again. It starts crawling down, and then he goes up to it. Finally, when it gets enough life of it sucked out of it by this poison, he goes up to it with the blunt end <laughs> of the super soaker and just bash, bash, <laughs> bash, bash, bash. And I thought, thank God you handled that. Now the front area of the house looks like you hose it with a actual hose yeah. of water. It's all just dripping. The dog is freaking out. She wants to go out there. I said, well, we can't let her out. It's soaked in bug spray and finally killed it. It was a nightmare, and the fire department didn't help. No kidding. I, I thought it was hilarious. I'm I thought it was adorable. They, I said, who are you on the phone with? I'm on the phone with the fire department. Surprised they talked to you for more than two seconds. <laughs> yeah, like, no, no, the no, guy yeah. totally laughed, and yeah. he's like, yeah, we're not coming out for that. Uh, totally Whipping Boy was out. In fact, uh, he has a couple of pictures here. He saw they have a 50% off sale right now on Ooh. assorted basic tarantulas. Disgusting. Uh, normal price, $49.99. Now just twenty four ninety nine. Why didn't he pick up deal. some for us? Yeah, and then he took a picture of this one. Let me uh, show you the picture here. Uh, there you go. Did you do again? Oh, that's oh. what was on my door. A yeah, little, it was that big. Oh, I'm calling the fire department. It was all, the spider was all hairy like that. <laughs> oh, it was a legit a tarantula. tarantula. They're hairy. Wow. It was gross, and I kind of feel bad that we killed it. Uh, okay, so Greg, I have a spider story as well that it's so funny the way you reacted to that. I wonder what you would have done in this situation. I was outside of my place wiping down all the spider webs and stuff because it just kind of needed to be cleaned. And I was wiping the side of the house and underneath, I went underneath like a window ledge. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, a spider crawled out. And right. I was like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. I think I maybe hit where it was. And then all of a sudden, like a dozen baby spiders came oh. crawling out on the side. Oh. I mean, <laughs> nah. baby. They Aww. looked like they were red. They were so <laughs> little. Yeah. Little Dugans. <laughs> just baby. Oh, just sick. scattered about. And I mean, I am I did not call the fire department. I <laughs> yeah. am they got evacuated opposite. from there, learned to spin right. a web class. Yeah. <laughs> I felt so bad because I was like, I just hit this nest and this mom and her babies. And, and there was kind of oh. like spider web stuff string type things attached to where oh. like the, the, the babies were mm-hmm. and I was grabbing those to place them on the ground because I was wiping stuff down and <laughs> oh. I didn't want to kill them and I was just like I hope you all live I don't like I tried to place them near their mom I uh, felt bad wow <laughs> <laughs> you tried to place them near their mom Jeez. meanwhile yep. I'd be getting a bucket of poison <laughs> dumping it the on the only them. spiders I'm afraid of are black widows they're hard to kill I've had one of those in my garage yeah, they will mess you up yeah and yeah. you spray it with Raid for a good minute. <laughs> yeah, I had a friend. And fri- they're still alive. I had a friend that she was in the hospital for a week. Really? Yeah, she was in her garage just cleaning something, and it like crawled on her hand and oh, bit her. Not good. No. Well, a lot of people now saying this would be a great animated podcast. No, no we it can. Would. It can be a one and done. Yeah. Oh, no, I think we can make that. No. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, make yeah. sure that we get that audio yeah. off we to the animation team. No, uh-huh. we don't need to, oh, that to live forever. We yeah, have yeah. like uh, nice cartoon pictures of the firemen back of the house eating chili <laughs> laughing at you. Yeah. These gay dudes just called up. Hey, guess what, Chuck? Yeah. Chuck. <laughs> we just got a call. Yeah, I hope you guys are hanging on to your boots, because check this out. Yeah, these, These two queers just called up about a spider. Uh, <laughs> one of them was so scared he had to, he had to poo-poo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, more Woody Show's next. More Woody Show is next. I always assume the answer is yes, but uh, do you guys want to talk about Dugans? Yes. Always. All right. Just a baby. All right, so according to this uh, poll, 2,000 dog owners were asked about their dog, and 39% say their emotional health is most improved, all things in their life, by the dog. That's you. Which I agree 1,000%, more than any individual human on this planet, more than any other kind of breathing technique or meditation Mm -hmm. or massage or whatever it is that does it for you. Some people drug. 
that dog is a savior. Would you say it's your therapy dog? No, I wouldn't. Your emotional support. Yeah. Dog. No, that's my support. that's my buddy. Yeah. For sure. Uh, dogs boost their owner's mood an average of nine times every day. Anytime I see yeah. her, my mood is boosted. Making them laugh or playing along with them, snuggling. Oh, you, you, you. Or just hanging out together on the couchy wouchy. I know. Being cuddle mm-hmm. waddles. 61% uh, say spending time with their dogs the best part of their entire day. Aw. I do get excited as I'm driving down my I street know. on my way to my house. I'm like, oh, do your puppies there? Just a puppy. <laughs> By myself in the car, out loud. I oh, wait to puppy. Yeah, I agree. Dogs help improve mental and emotional well-being, comforting uh, humans when they're sad, helping them during stressful times. She knows. Yep. I told they, you. They're totally in tune with that. Like, I know they have dogs that can sniff out cancer or whatever. They can sniff out a mood on me. <sighs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're not feeling well, they're gentle with you. Mm-hmm. Nearly half say their dog listens to them when they need to vent. I've never vented to her. No, I don't no. do that when I'm talking to as if it's a person. I'll save that for actual people. Yeah. 35% say their dog inspires them to take better care of themselves. Well, by yeah. walking them and yeah, stuff. Yeah, go for walks. Yeah. 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 Uh, Two thirds say their dog is their mental and emotional support system, while 36% say their dog is like their psychologist okay. by supporting their mental health and boosting their mood. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's my shrink. Yeah. Again, I just go back to my little baby, my yeah. little buddy. Yeah. I love holding my dogs like little babies. Yeah. They're fat pieces of crap. (laughs) Owning a dog has taught 70% of people patience as well as empathy, stamina, and resilience. It's true. Dogs are incredible. They are Mm -hmm. the best. They are the best animal ever. I get your back.